Kentucky was an interesting and great kind of like mix of a place to grow up. My morals and values were really, really set in stone by coming from a place like Kentucky. Everyone was just out skating and I always had access to a camera and I would just go out and like shoot all of this stuff and it kind of like got me really into it. Skaters are pretty open to letting you do whatever it is that you want. They would just be like, oh, that's just Luke. So they just let me kind of do whatever that I wanted, <laughs> which is like a really great attitude to have. Tell us what's about to happen. It's all fine. OK. They were just kind of like, hey, dude, you're the one with the camera. If you want to shoot that, let's do that. So I was able to kind of like experiment and expand through that, which has been pretty cool. Photography is my personal life, I think. <laughs> there are things that I've started paying attention to because I've started paying attention to more details in my photography. And so like taking a break, taking a step back and letting the world approach you and then you just become an observer of it. And photography has taught me to try to be more understanding of the subjects that I shoot because I don't want to shoot with already like a narrative in mind. I want it to kind of let it build for what it actually is. I think a lot of my photography and like if you look at it, it's like very isolated moments that happen. A lot of things that are framed in the center or a lot of things that you wouldn't necessarily try to pay attention to. Trying to like find something that isn't necessarily photographed all the time. I used to always overlook this shit. And now I'm like trying to find like the details within things that I've already seen before. I've always been like, damn, I can't tell a story because I, I haven't taken like a writing class or that I don't know how to tell like a whole story beyond this certain scene that I'm seeing. And then I just started being like, why don't I just shoot that scene and make that the whole story? I shot this story of the, these two space hunters, these guys, and their spaceship crashed. narrative is them walking through the, this like unknown planet and another alien comes by and like kills one of them. And the guy becomes conflicted because it's either he has to take his friend home or he has to take the new evidence home of this other planet and that became like the narrative. So there's a photo where it's like really wide and it's the spaceman looking back down at the hill holding the, the thing that he has to take back home while his friend is laying there. That was kind of a jumping off point for me to be like, oh, I can do like narratives like this and it makes sense. And you can build a story around all this shit without having to build out something really, really elaborate. You could have like one very particular thing that you want to get across and then it can build this like beautiful narrative. <laughs> uh. EW037, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 megahertz. One thing that I try to do is, like on set especially, I want to try to experiment as much as we can. I have a, a really great team of people that work with me. I come to them with an idea and then they approach it from their aspect of being like, I'm a gaffer, so I think about it like lighting or I'm a production designer, I think about it in the art. And then I start to elevate the idea and then it just becomes this huge thing where I'm learning about all this new gear and all this stuff that we can try out and like fuck around with. And, there's something about feeling like 
you're working with your family the whole time where the work then becomes like more relaxed and you can you can really start to try to like expand. I've been really fortunate enough to have people in my life that wanting to just be a part of something creative and make stuff that isn't necessarily for anything. People are now approaching me because of the style that we have created. This is like what we love to shoot and what we love to do. And if someone wants to be a part of it, great. But if not, we're gonna keep doing this anyways. I think that has been like the biggest appeal out of photography for me is not necessarily shooting, but the access that it allows me to have. I think I'd always had known, I was like, I need to be in Los Angeles. Every part about it I love, it's like, it's grimy, it's like the traffic is crazy, but then you get to throw music on in your car and drive like an hour, it's like fine, you know? Like, I've got a lot of albums that I wanna to listen to, so. <laughs> this is kind of the same thing, it's like taking things for what they are, as opposed to being like upset about something that's out of your control. And that's why I've loved L.A. so much is because it's actually allowed me to be myself in a, in a way. I'm going to start traveling more, I think, and kind of going out and exploring and looking for things, I guess. The biggest thing is to trust your gut. I would much rather prefer to trust that than try to fit into something that you don't necessarily feel like you belong in. A lot of shit just takes patience. So like, it might not happen right away, but when it happens along down the line, you're like, oh fuck yeah, it like actually like worked out. If you feel like you got something to say, like, I don't know, just have fun with it too. That's the thing. Like, don't take this shit so serious. Once you remove that entity off of it, you're able to just free flow and create. And also fail. Try to just keep pushing yourself to be the best version of whatever it is you're trying to be and not comparing it to like what other people's successes are. Everyone's life has led them to a different path, so trying to fit into someone's ladder of success doesn't make sense because we have experienced way different things. So it's just a matter of kind of just letting opportunities happen and don't necessarily rush the process because there's no rush.